Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Shadowrun Returns. We're going to Sam's funeral. Uh, we have defeated the Emerald City Ripper. But, um... I think Sam's mother is gonna rise from the grave here. But then, if it's that predictable, the story wouldn't be very impressive, right? Maybe maybe it's going to be something completely different. <laughs> something completely unpredictable, that'd be cool too. Alright, so we're done talking to people here at the Seamstresses Union. Take a cab to Sam and Melinda Watts' funeral, yep. Family debts. The sun has nearly set when you reach Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Its cemetery, dilapidated and overgrown, sits atop a small hill on the outskirts of the city. It is on the enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawl of the living. The Seattle rain continues unabated, and lightning appears over the mountains, exposing the landscape in a in staccato poses of stark flashes. That's cool. I like that scene a lot. A small hill on the outskirts of the city, somber enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawl of the living. Mm. You walk the gravel path to the gates of the cemetery. Up ahead, you see Coyote and Jake standing by the gravesite, alongside Jessica Watts and another mourner, a beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. Whatever Dr. Holmes was up to at Mercy Mental Hospital, the answers lie here with the reinterred body of Melinda Watts, the recently deceased body of Sam Watts, and with those attending them at the ceremony. Coyote and Jake? Haven't seen Jake since the the first mission. Jessica and Jessica Watts and another mourner, a beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. Who could that be? Oh, I can change my gear. I'm not gonna change anything. There's a shaman summon location. Jessica Watts, an elven woman. Let's walk around a little bit. Very interesting. You have a cemetery. Oh, this place is kind of big, huh? Oh, what's this? Summons Force 4 Abomination Elemental Fetish. Summon a, summons a Force 4 Abomination Elemental. The fetish is consumed when used. Required Spirit Summoning 1. What would you like to do? Let me just put this in my stash. The grave has a Force 4 Abomination Elemental in it. <laughs> Is that what it implies? Like the corpse here turns into a an abomination? I mean, it's kind of alarming, but there's stuff going on in there, right? Uh, candles, which makes no sense because it's raining. There's candles in the rain. Another. Shaman summoning site. Oh, there's a lot of stuff back here. Why is there so much stuff? What is that? Cavalier's mid lane, mid line frag grenade. What would you like to do with it? Uh, send it to stash. Not that I ever use these items. Maybe if I played on a hard, harder difficulty, I would use them. There's a there's a camp back here. Oh, those those are tents, and then there's rubbish. Somebody's camping. 
in the back of the graveyard. Combat stim that increases quickness plus two and AP plus one for five rounds. Send it to my stash. I'm picking up combat items here. Don't know if that means it's going to be combat during the mission. And what's going on back there? Again, there's a camp and there's lights. There's a door there. There are people living here. Wild. There's a tent there. Can't interact with it. Alright, that's very interesting. So we scouted the place out. Might be some hints as to what's gonna happen. Save the game. Talk to Jessica. The mourners stand graveside, listening to the Catholic priest's word of prayer and solace. Jessica's face is filled with relief as the last of her family is laid to rest. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, Lord receives the soul. Lord receives the souls of Sam and Melinda Watts, mother and son, to live forever by your side. Amen. Father O'Malley. Irish Catholic. Thank you, Father. I know that my mother rests easier now that she's finally in the parish cemetery. I'm sorry for the recent loss of your brother, but I'm glad that reinterring your mother's body here has brought you comfort. She loves this parish, parish so. I sh this place looks like a dump, Father O'Malley. Have you noticed this? <laughs> She opens her hands to this elf standing across from her. Thank you for coming, Lin. Your support has meant the world to me. Now I can live again with my new family. Your new family? The woman is a classic elven beauty, confident, poised, expensively dressed. Of course, I am glad this ancient ritual brings you some measure of solace. I hope you'll be able to put all of this behind you now. Who is Lin? Jessica speaks to the rest of you. Thank you all for coming. I didn't realize Sam had so many friends. I appreciate your support and your friendship with Sam. You're welcome. I saw him out the night he died. Only fitting I see him out today. Sam may have had his problems, but he was our friend, part of the Union family. May he rest in peace. Vea condils, but he'll be missed. May he rest in peace. I mean, I hope so. I hope nobody, like, summons him back. Miss Watts, family members and friends, thank you for attending the service. I suggest we don't linger long. The cemetery isn't safe after dark. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Father O'Malley, what the hell is going on in this cemetery? It's not safe after dark? Thank you, Father. We Just be a moment. Actually, if you could stay, I have a few things I'd like to discuss. Not so far, sister. I need some answers out of you. Miss Watts, I know this isn't the best time, but we need to talk. She's guarded by playing polite. Very well, but let's not keep Father O'Malley. Thank you, child. Feel free to call on me as you need. The priest clutches his Bible to his chest, and then turns towards the neighboring church. <laughs> it's not safe at night. Alright, so he's gonna run away. We're gonna talk to her here. Why is everyone getting in position? Ah, uh, there's gonna be a firefight, right? There's gonna be guns. There's gonna be. A, we're gonna get attacked. Father O'Malley leaves, granting you an opportunity to speak with Jessica, but it's hardly a private conversation as the elf Lynn has chosen to stay and support her friend. As it so happens, Jake and Coyote have also lingered, lending you support too. Alright, what would you like to talk about, SDKC? Let's start with your mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? Let's talk a little more about Sam. Did you know he had a liver transplant? Alright, it's not your mother, organ donor. 
Jessica's demeanor turns oddly cool and stony in response to such a simple question. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Ah. Now then can you explain how her body parts made their way into half a dozen recipients? You don't know what you're talking about. I know Sam helped your mother save lives through that donation. Her jaw clenches. She wasn't a donor, she was a victim. A victim of my brother's greed. He took from her, desecrating her body, all to benefit himself. She never would have agreed to such a thing. Not even to save the lives of others, lives like Sam's. Do you think she would have approved of Holmes killing people to retrieve her organ? Not even to save the lives of others, lives like Sam's. Cracks are starting to appear on Jessica's carefully crafted mask. Sam destroyed his own liver pursuing oblivion, that was his choice. Your mother's gift meant a second chance for Sam. It was not a gift, it was stolen, and I wasn't about to let him destroy what little remained of her with his vulgar appetites. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. And so you hide Holmes to get it back. Jessica's eyes burn with righteous anger, gone are any attempts to hide her guilt. Dr. Holmes made my Dr. Holmes made my mother whole again. He made it possible for me to place her to rest and say goodbye. <laughs> By killing like a dozen people. He killed Sam and half a dozen other people whose lives have been saved by your mother. <laughs> she snaps. Those people were scavengers, ghouls. They deserve to die for desecrating my mother's body. Ah, uh, that's not how any moral system works. I'm pretty sure the Catholic moral system doesn't work like that either, Jessica. <laughs> And poor Sam, it was his drinking and debauchery that drove my mother to the grave. As sure as if he had murdered her himself. Yeah? You don't think maybe your absence contributed, Jessica? Didn't you run away? And leave her? My mother deserved honor and dignity. I gave her that today. She's finally whole again with a proper Catholic burial. Those ghouls who stole her organs, including Sam, have paid the price for their sins. <laughs> The beautiful elf breaks in the essence of calm. Jessica, that's enough. We have business to attend to. My old family is dead and buried where they should be. They can't taint my new family now. They can't corrupt my children. I won't go through that again. Corrupt your children? Jessica, we need to go now. She presses a button on the comlink. Your children? She seized at you. What happens now is on your head. If you had just walked away when I told you to, McCluskey would have eventually found Holmes, collected his lieutenant's badge, and closed the case, but you had to keep digging. Oh, good. Now you and your friends have to die. Let their blood be on your hands. Oh, yeah? You wanna go? You see these two drones? <laughs> After activating these two drones, I still have one extra action point <laughs> to shoot my gun at you. <laughs> Ma'am, receive code red, only three, no problem, okay. Aren't we gonna shoot these two? I thought we were gonna shoot those two right away, alright, game. Video game logic. Video game, I mean the first thing I would've done was bop Jessica in the head with my gun, right? Yeah, anyway, we're not doing that. Turn on your mech, shoot the dudes. Oh, really? Alright, you, uh... Should... Why is it only 65%? Are they buffed? Oh, I get two shots, though. Alright, and then we turn on the other guy. You can shoot him. 14. Oh, my max gets 3 moves now, I remember. Because I upgraded. And then after that, I still have my gun. Not as I block, but I'm gonna just 
um, Overwatch that way. Okay, Yodi gets two moves. I wanna like can hit adjacent targets. Oh, uh, come on, please don't suck. Right, there you go. Jake? What do you have? Wow. Flamethrower 2, AP 1, cooldown 2, damage 20. 43%. You know, this is such high damage. Let me get closer. 49% still. These guys are hard to hit, huh? These are stronger enemies than before. What about this one? Explodes, minus 1 AP, ongoing damage. Oh, I can't do that. That's two moves. Alright. That's okay, I guess. And uh, let's go ahead and take an aim shot. Uh, can you guys please stop sucking? Uh, fascinating. And I can't spray at them because I don't have enough moves. Alright, you go ahead and pop that guy. Let me get up close to these guys. Pop that guy. Nope. Please stop sucking. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Very good. And then you just like walk right up next to him. And then shotgun him at close range. Not bad. <laughs> 36 damage. Alright, so the... We're still in combat. Oh, they ran into the... They ran into the church. Also, reloading pistols is only is zero moves. Look at that. It's zero AP to reload the pistol. Isn't that crazy? Now oh, they're coming this way. Man. All right. Now this. Now there's five more guys. We need to find out where Sam's sister might have gone. Maybe one of these guys can tell us with a little encouragement. All right. So we can't follow them this way. Jake needs to come back. I should probably... Well, I guess we just shoot them. I mean, I was thinking maybe I should get them to cover. But maybe that's not too important. Let me get my max closer though. Oh, I can't actually shoot him from here, can I? Yes, I can. Pew. Pew. <laughs> Why do I get so many shots? Am I right? Don't think I can hit. Oh, yes, I can. Well, I might as well go for it again. Alright, Jake, you you need to come back, dude. That's not good either. Hey, leave my max alone. Oh my god. Where are you... Where are you going? Why are you going there? Um... What do... Oh, my max gonna... I'm gonna lose my max real soon. Should I move my max out of the way? Maybe. Almost gonna lose my mech, right? You... Why is 
my aim so bad on these mechs? 